How does a boring, lazy, awkwardly aging, nice guy, paler and blander than a spoon of white rice, who somehow like a bald or dumber Garrett, get to be the guy who hosts the merits? We went looking for a host who's fresh and fun or need a newcomer who's not a huge bummer. We need a hot stunner, cut like a pro runner. But here's the guy who split his pants at two planks that one summer. It says here that he's an actor, dancer, singer, but I've never seen him on the stage or in the wing or even close to the Neptune on any singing mission. Who learned to sing but is too scared to even audition? There must be something fishy, cause me, I just don't see why they choose a guy who did one show up at Ship's Company and spent a single summer at Shakespeare by the Sea. What kind of dirt does this guy have to blackmail Jeremy? Well, he knows that you're excited and he feels the very same Cause he knows this night can get you recognition and acclaim But frankly, I have no idea just from where he came Cause I've never heard his name What's his name again? Andrew Chandler Merritt Host Someone made Andrew Chandler Merritt Host no, I'm, I'm so excited to be your host tonight. I, uh, I've wanted to be the Merit host ever since I found out they got paid. <laughs> so, let's talk about 2016. Remember it started, we were all so innocent. We all thought Creepy and Little Manson would be the hardest thing to watch last year. Shakespeare by the Sea produced a hilarious and touching version of Pinocchio in a season where for once the Shakespeare wasn't the only thing wooden. Two Planks and a Passion remained the summer home of two power couples, Toronto's Ryan Rogerson and Burgundy Code, and Calgary's Jamie Konchak and Graham Percy. In tribute, I'm told the company is officially changing their name this year to Two Planes and a Passion for Merit Awards. Please hire me back. Now let's hand out some hardware. Thank you to all the people who um, encouraged me to go out on a limb and uh, wear dresses and make plays about uh, feelings I had when I was a child. Um, I'm really grateful. <laughs> I think um, it's, uh, it, it's, it's a testament to be up here um, in Nova Scotia with this. I learned uh, almost everything I know from watching all the people in this room do what they do, and I'm going to keep doing that and stealing all your ideas. So. Thank you. I love you. You know when you're really, really sure you're not going to win? <laughs> and you're like, I'm not going to prepare anything. <laughs> and then you win. So um, thank you very much. So, how very nice. It's, it's always comforting to know at least three people kind of liked it. Um, <laughs> Um, no, uh, thank you, Pam. Pam always believes in me. I've been coming to these awards for a couple years, and I just sit with my wife, uh, the lovely Genevieve Steele, just having a good time. And never really imagined I would be up here except when I was playing in the band that actually used to play here, too. Thanks, Rosetti, for taking that gig from us. His grandmother, um, Winnie Prothero, uh, she was from Reserve Mines, where the play is set. I'm from Reserve Mines. I'm a third-generation native of there. And the play is about the real-life people who work so tirelessly. So um, the play is about Father Jimmy Tompkins, Father Moses Cody, Mary Arnold, and my great-aunt and uncle, um, Mary and Joe Laban, who... Um, had a fierce belief that adult education and cooperation were the keys to becoming masters of their own destiny. And I mean, I, I think that that belief um, still goes on because we're the later generations of reserve minds. So thank you so much. Theatre Nova Scotia annually awards a scholarship to support specialized training, continued professional development. And earlier this month, the scholarship was awarded to Kyle Gillis. <laughs> So congratulations, Kyle. Stephen can't be with us tonight, uh, but I'm sure he would like to thank me for hiring him. <laughs> and also an incredible cast uh, of local talent and talent from away, which makes that production very, very special to all of us. So on behalf of Stephen, I would like to thank you. Good night. <laughs>
I, I don't know if you know this about me, but I fucking love these things. <laughs> these, are, these are great. Uh, <laughs> Uh, <laughs> um, I, I, I've been looking forward to a, a set design one for a long time. Uh, since uh, my last year of university, my, my set design prof told me that one day I would be a, an outstanding stage manager. <laughs> and now I can say I've proved him wrong twice. <laughs> and that means a lot. Uh, uh, I, sorry, I don't mean to be this asshole, but I have all my notes on my phone. Um, uh, Open, 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 open. Thank you, oh my gosh. Uh, first off, thank you to Mary Lee Martin, who took a chance on me. Um, she, basically, the story goes, she saw me play in a cabaret and was like, her, and, I, and honestly took a chance. And thank you to Chester Playhouse and Eric Bickerdyke, thank you so much, the whole process was just amazing. Uh, thank you to Chris Churchill and Stephanie McEwen, who rounded out my pit band, who are just such fantastic musicians. The little trio, which I just loved. Um, the cast. Amy, Cassie, Dominique, Katrina, Christy, Kyle, you guys are ruthlessly talented, and I know that's a pun, but I don't care. Um, you guys made my job so easy, thank you so much. And to Jen Hewitt, who is our amazing stage manager, for keeping our little Scooby-Doo of a musical on the road. So uh, yeah, and thank you, Merits and Theatre Nova Scotia, thank you. Yeah.